مرحبا شباب كيفكم شو اخباركم من زمان والله ما طلعت على الشاشه بس هلا انا اجيت and in this video i'm going to share with you a three important strategies that i have discovered recently with the students i have been teaching these strategies if you apply them they are going to improve your arabic you will see an immediate uh, you know difference uh, uh, once you start to understand them and use them okay but before we start shabab make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a comment if you have any question khalina in belish now the first strategy which actually um, I haven't uh, been supporting these strategies in the past. But when I started to test it on different students, I noticed a big difference. This strategy is reading. Reading is very important. Very important if you wanna get fluency in Arabic. Um, in the past, I used to tell students, don't focus on reading. You can just write in phonetics. But the problem is that when you reach the advanced level, you will come across words that are so similar in sounds, but different in writing. An example for that, Juma and Jamia. Juma is Friday and Jamia is uh, mosque or Jama, which is uh, university. Now, if you hear them, it will be a bit difficult for you to recognize that there is an alif unless you look at them and then you say, aha, I understand. So this is one of the benefit of reading. Plus, with reading, you are going to see the words, you know, repeated many times um, in a text. Uh, even when you go to a restaurant, when you walk in the street, you can read the text, you can read uh, advertisement, you can read uh, things around you, you can read uh, the newspaper and you will see the words you are already learning are repeated in the text, which help you to memorize the words and also you will see them in, a, in the context. So this is why I encourage you guys to start to improve your reading skills. If uh, you are ignoring this part, try and start to read. But important to read as well in a very systematic way. And this is when this is uh, uh, when I'm going to come to the next strategy, which you need to apply, which is repetition. Repetition is crucial in learning any language. Now, I don't understand why all books in learning Arabic, they don't include this strategy, except, you know, our books and method. If you tried uh, Nostra Arabic method or the latest, books, uh, the latest book I wrote, you will find this strategy. Repetition is a key in learning. And this is how the children learn. They learn by listening to the words, uh, you know, hundred times from uh, different contexts, and then they can speak. So it's important to uh, reinforce the concept of repetition. Um, so when you are reading something, you need to read uh, a text that the words are being repeated. Now, if you are an intermediate student, uh, media Arabic are the best approach because in media you will find the uh, the same situations, the same problems happening every day, so you will find the word repeated. If not, you need to find a book uh, that has this strategy, Rep uh, a repetition strategy. So the words you learn on the first day mm -hmm. should be repeated in the, uh, let's say, next day in a different context. And um, the best thing about repetition uh, within the context is that you don't need to remember the words they will come mm -hmm. out naturally because you are seeing them in a different context and that's why mm -hmm. repetition mm -hmm. makes your life easier so make sure you mm -hmm. learn by repetition find books find script strategies 
uh, for repetition. Now, the last strategy, which is also important, the last one uh, supports the repetition, actually, uh, strategy, which is listening. So listening is very important. Again, when you are listening, you are hearing the word again and from a different, you know, resources, uh, auditory resources, and also help you to memorize the word. And to do that, um, I would recommend you to watch um, a TV show, an Arabic TV show, and listen to, to it uh, maybe every day, 10 to 20 minutes. Now, um, I also recommend you to, you know, watch it maybe once or twice or three times. Like, don't just uh, watch, uh, one, watch it once and forget about it. When you watch it again, you will learn more. So, um, habituate yourself on the idea of listening uh, through, you know, um, let's say maybe TV shows or some audios or on YouTube. But um, I would say you need to keep listening, even if you don't understand. Don't worry. At some point, things will start to click when you are, you know, you are learning, you are studying and you are reading, you are learning vocabularies, you are learning some grammar, you start to speak and you cooperate all these three strategies I shared with you today, you will uh, start to understand more and more and your listening skill will improve. So make sure you apply these three concepts in learning Arabic. First, reading. Second, repetition. Third, listening. Do that every day, plus everything you are doing uh, to learn Arabic. Exercises, books, uh, Arabic teacher. Now, um, as I said previously, um, our uh, books include all these strategies. So if you want a good book to learn Arabic, we have the latest books, which on Amazon. And if you want something, uh, you know, more, let's say, like a systematic learning, we have NasraArabicMethod.com. Um, some of you already registered, but if you haven't, I do recommend you. You will not regret. You, you will find so much good resources for listening, reading, everything you need uh, to learn Arabic. That's all for today, guys. And I will be seeing you again for another video, another idea, and another day. Mint here, Yajamah.